Good morning, hey kids. Uh, I know I'm not who you expected to see here, right? Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get Ruth on today, but she gave me permission to do my own thing today. So it's our day to have fun. And I had some fun ideas for us today. I thought we could talk about Earth Day because we celebrated Earth Day this week. I'm sure you all have learned about Earth Day and this is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So for 50 years, we've been celebrating Earth Day and talking about ways that we can keep the Earth clean and safe and keep it a nice, good planet for us to live on. So I thought, who better to explain this than an expert in the field of trash that you didn't think I was going to say that did you um let's learn a little bit from my good friend Miss Katie hi welcome to Beverly Hills Community United Methodist Church this is wow it's worship our way we do this every Sunday morning um so thanks for joining us this morning thank you for having me why don't you tell the kids um who you are a little bit about yourself uh what you do and where you live all right, um, so I'm Miss Katie again. I live outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, I work for a family owned trash and recycling company in our area. Um, I actually go to elementary schools and I teach students about ways that they can respect the earth, take care of things around them, respect each other, um, how to recycle and where their trash belongs. Great, it's perfect that you're here with us this week because as you know, it was Earth Day this week. So we're celebrating that today at WOW. And what did you bring to share with us today? Um, well, I have a book that discusses all of the things that we just talked about. It is called Respect and Take Care of Things. Okay. So I'll jump right into that. I'm learning to take care of myself and the things around me. I show respect when I take care of things. After I use something, I put it where it belongs. Everything has a place. When I put things away, the room looks neat. It feels comfortable. And it's safe when I keep things off the floor. So everything has a place. I can play with one thing at a time. After I use something, I can put it where it goes. Then we'll all know where to find it. I can help take care of things that I use with others and things that someone else used. It can be fast and fun when we all help. So everyone helps. Some things need special care. I can wash my hands and use things gently. That way, they won't get dirty or broken. I can use things a long time and use only what I need. Things last longer when I don't waste. So nothing gets wasted. I need to wait until I'm older to use some things. Some of the things in the picture here, you have to be older to use those. I can respect things around me too. Wherever I go, I can leave things the way I found them or better. So the friends in this picture are taking care of the earth, their environment. When I pick up trash and litter, I help keep places beautiful. So she's putting her trash in the right place and they're keeping all their trash off the ground. I can recycle too. And I can use things again in a new way. So this friend here is recycling and this friend here is reusing the recycling bin. People can trust me to leave their things alone. When I, want, when I want to use something, I ask 
permission. So we want to make sure to take care of other people's property too. If the person says it's okay, I'll be very careful. I show respect for people when I respect their things. Some things are private just for one person. I show that I'm responsible when I leave those things alone. We wanna make sure we're respecting everyone's stuff. I can take good care of things I use and respect all the things around me. When I do, everyone can enjoy them. Everyone is having a respectful time there. The end. Thanks for that story, Miss Katie. It looks like you've got a helper there with you now for oh, the next part. Mommy's gonna hand you some stuff, okay? Okay. Hi, Lydia. Hi. <laughs> All right, so can you tell us how does that story tie into Earth Day? So, you know, part of the story was talking about respecting people and the property and the world around you and the things around you. And one of the ways that we can respect the earth is through recycling and making sure that we put our trash in the right place. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what kind of things go in the recycling bin and okay. not in the trash can. Okay. So first, let's start with paper. Okay. I use a lot of paper now that I'm home all the time. Yeah, so everybody uses paper every day. You might not realize like there's so much paper you get in the mail, you get junk mail, things like this. We can recycle this. If you don't use it, if you don't use these coupons, put them in the recycling bin. They get turned into more paper. You can also recycle computer paper, writing paper, things like this. Oh, so can but, you recycle all paper then? No. So things that you can't recycle, uh. recycle paper. Um, paper towels. Mm. But this is the type of paper you can't recycle. Why do you think? I don't know. I just thought I should recycle everything. No, not all paper. So paper towels, paper napkins, um, tissues, things like that. You want to make sure that goes in the trash can because this is not a type of paper that you can recycle. It's already dirty and actually paper towels are already made from recycled material. So you can't recycle them again. Okay. So most of these paper towels go in trash. Okay. Um, tissues? Where, where does it go? Tissues go in the trash. Good. Okay. So <laughs> now let's move on to recycling cans, metal. Metal yes. soda cans <laughs> like this. We can recycle metal and it, get tur it gets turned into more metal. Um, and we can use this metal to make more types of metal, that we can make more cans. Um, we can make uh, lots of things like big car parts from metal, recycled metal, um, lots of cool things. Um, but if I didn't recycle it and I put it in the trash can and the garbage man came through my neighborhood and picked up all that trash, he would take it to a place called a landfill. Mm -hmm. And over time, trash in landfills starts to break down and decompose and actually become part of the earth. Um, do you want to take a guess at how long it would take for this can here to decompose in a landfill? Hmm, I don't know, I mean, probably a while, maybe like a month. That's a good guess. Um, the answer is 250 to 500 years. Whoa, that's a long time. That is a long time. So. That's how long this can here would stay in the landfill, taking up all that space. Wow. That's, how, that's a long time. Yeah. So we should cans, definitely recycle those. Yeah, cans, metal cans, very important to recycle. Next, we're gonna move on to glass. So glass bottles, like this one here, mm -hmm. um, glass bottles that most of our drinks and our beverages come in, we can recycle that. It gets turned into more glass. That that we can use to make more items that are made out of glass. Um, but not all glass can be recycled. What kind so, of glass can't be recycled? So we cannot recycle um, 
mirrors. We can't recycle windows, window material. We can't recycle dishes, plates, water, glasses that we use. We can't recycle those. Mostly these bottles that our drinks, our beverages come in, we can recycle those. Okay. Now, if I didn't recycle this glass here, and I yeah. threw it in the trash, and it ended, at, it ended up in a landfill, how long do you think it would stay in that landfill before it decomposed? Let's see, I was way off with the last one. So I'm gonna guess longer, maybe five years. Good guess, that's a good guess. So if I did not recycle this glass bottle here and I put it in the trash can, and again, the trash man came through my neighborhood and picked it all up and put it in the back of the trash truck, they would take it to a landfill and this glass bottle here would stay in that landfill for 500,000 to 1 million years. Whoa, that's a really long time. Very long time, yeah. So we don't want to throw these in the trash. We want to make sure we are recycling all our glass bottles. And last but not least, we're going to move on to plastic. Oh, actually, you know, there's one more I forgot. Okay. We're going to go on to cardboard. This oh. is one that gets forgotten a lot. Cardboard is part of the paper family. So cardboard is very important to recycle too. So cardboard boxes that your packages come in, we can make sure to recycle that. So cardboard goes with the paper, the newspaper, the computer paper, the paper we write on, paper we draw on, all of that. So I've seen a lot of cardboard boxes lately with all of the deliveries while everybody's quarantined. Yes, same here. Same Make here. sure we recycle those. Yes. Now, we're going to move on to plastic. Plastic bottles. So plastic bottles like these, our drinks come in. <laughs> we want to make sure that we recycle them. And most importantly, because if we don't recycle plastic and we throw them in the trash, and they end up in a, um, in, a, in a landfill with all of the rest of our trash. Do you want to take a guess? How long will that plastic stay in a landfill? Um, maybe like with glass, like 500,000 years. That's, you know, pretty, pretty close, pretty good uh, guess. But the answer is forever. Plastic. What? Yes, plastic will most likely never break down or decompose or become part of the earth. It wow. will stay in the landfill forever, taking up all that space with all that trash, which is sad because we really, plastic is very easy to reuse and to recycle. So we can recycle it, put it in that recycling bin. We don't put it in the trash can, we put it in the recycling bin. It gets picked up by the recycle truck and it gets turned into more plastic that we can use over and over and over again. Wow. So, well, that's really good advice, Miss Katie. Thank you so much for sharing that with us today. You're very welcome. I think probably everyone learned something today. I talk to you all the time and I didn't know most of this stuff. So I'm so glad I learned about this and I'm going to make sure I do my part to recycle. Um, even more so now. <laughs> yes, and I'm, I'm remember to reduce, reuse, recycle. Reuse what you can, reduce what you can, and if you can't do both of those, recycle it. It gets reused. Got it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed your first wow at Beverly Hills community. Um, this is not what our church normally looks like, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me. I enjoyed it. All right, bye. Bye. All right, well, that was fun. I'm glad Miss Katie was able to join us today. I know Ruth usually does a craft with you, but I thought maybe today instead we could sing a song. So I have another very special friend who you might recognize that's going to join us now. Uh, he goes by the name of Mr. B. Hey, Mr. B. Hi kids, hi Nick. Hey, what, why are you wearing a crown? Oh, oh, I thought we were doing crown him with many crowns today. No, no, it's Earth Day. Oh, right, it's Earth Day. Yeah. Okay, 
how about we do one of my favorite songs from when I was a kid? Um, it's called All Creatures of Our God and King. Oh, yeah. You may already know it. If you yeah. don't, just follow along with the words on the screen and sing along with us. It's a song all about how much we love the creatures that God made for us and the earth that he gave us and um, just how we should sing praise to him for all of those things. Okay. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> Creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thou burning sun with golden beam, thou silver moon with softer gleam.
Bye. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at WOW. I thought right now we could just end with a short prayer and then we can all go about our days. All right. Would you bow your heads with me and let's pray and thank God for um, all of the creation that he's given us. Dear Jesus, we want to thank you so much for this beautiful planet that you have blessed us with. Thank you for all the animals, all the plants, all of the fresh air that you give us, for the rain that keeps things nice and growing. And thank you for all of the land that we have and the space that we have. And we just want to thank you for blessing us with that. Um, and we pray that you will help us remember to take care of your planet and to continue to take care of animals and do things that make our planet a better place for um, all of your people to live and that we can honor you by respecting the things that you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everyone have a great week this week. Don't forget to join Ruth on Zoom on Thursday at 3 o'clock, and I'm sure she'll have a fun craft for you then, and I will see you later. Bye!